Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you a one move puzzle. And I think the reason why this puzzle appeals to me is because it takes one move here to really make a clear advantage. So take stock of this position for a moment. So let me remove some of these arrows. So you have this knight here within checking distance. You have this queen looking at h2. This bishop is cutting off this diagonal square. And you have the queens are in tension right so there's a lot going on here and it may seem like there's a knockout blow and there is there's one move for total fatality here what is the move if you want to take a second and try to figure it out i would encourage you to pause the video if not sit back and i'll show it okay so in this position the first thing i thought about were these checks particularly knight g3 but if you do knight g3 it looks cool and all doesn't actually do anything. Knight takes g3, and now what? I have no fancy, you know, captures or sacks or anything. Doesn't work. And then I thought, okay, maybe there's a way I can try to remove this knight. Maybe I can do something cool like bishop h3. Again, that sounds cool, but remember, my queen is hanging, so that doesn't work. And then I thought, okay, what do I have here? And here is where the move is just brilliant. Okay, are you ready? Bishop b1. Bang. Look at that. So what is this doing, you might ask? Well, first of all, let's make sure it's clear what the goal is. The queens are in tension, right? Like this. Let me draw those arrows. So if the queen takes my queen, what am I doing? This is actually an interference move, and I would be able to checkmate you in the back rank, right? Okay. Well, of course, I see that, but the queen doesn't have to take. What if this bishop is taken by either the queen, the knight, or the rook. Okay, well, if the rook takes, let's go one by one. If the rook takes, now I have this clearance move. That, that was the clearance move. Now I have this rook takes f1. What is that doing? That's pulling the queen away from this tension. That's forced capture. And then look at this. Knight g3 is mate. That's amazing. Okay, that's if the rook takes. That's all forced after the rook captures. Okay, what if the queen captures? It's actually the same exact line. Rook takes, brings the queen right here, which disconnects from this square. And now this check by the knight on g3 is a winning check. This is pinned. They can't take. Right? It's not legal. And they can't move because the bishop is watching over g1. Okay. What's the last option? Well, I mentioned that the knight can take, right? Knight takes? What does that do? Well, now it's the same idea, only now it's a little different because the, the rook is not here, but it's the same exact idea. It's a clearance move. I moved this out of the way. It got captured. That's fine. Clearance move for the rook, capturing, and mate. Awesome. So you might say, okay, maybe I don't do anything. Maybe I leave the bishop here. That's fine. So let's say you play this bishop b1. And then maybe your thought is, I'm just going to kick the queen one. That's a good idea. And that makes sense generally if somebody tries to attack you, see if you have a counterattack. But there are two good moves in this position. Both are mate and six according to the computer. One of them is flashy with knight takes, sorry, rook takes knight. After queen takes, what do you do? You check them again. And what did you just do? Same exact idea. This is pinned. You're going to pick up this queen, and this should be easy. Whether they take here or they take here, like this, this is going to lead to mate. Just a couple moves. Okay, let's go back. So what if they don't play any of these things I've suggested so far? Well, turns out in this position, after bishop b1, the best move, according to the computer, is queen e6 check. Okay, cool. What is that doing? Well, not really much. After king h8, what is the computer suggesting? When it, this is going to make you laugh. Queen c8, queen e8, and queen g8. Aren't those all superstar moves? The, the goal, of course, is to just prolong the game. But the game is essentially over at this point. Because I'm threatening to take here. I'm threatening this checkmate. They want to prolong the game with this. That's fine. And now what? G4, the 
the computer's saying G4. You see what I'm saying? It's not really. It doesn't matter. Rook takes F1, check. This is a mate in three. Does it really matter how we do it? I would maybe do this and just go down that way. Is this going to work? Yeah, that's going to work. So yeah, are there any other moves in that position that you want me to look at? Let's see. After bishop b1. And I should say, this is a winning position already. This is not the only knockout, but this is by far the best move. So the computer is saying bishop b1 is plus 67. Or sorry, minus 67. 67 points, essentially, for black. The second best move, bishop f2, is minus 6. So this is a lot better. And as the engine is kind of thinking more, bishop b1 is minus two, 23. And bishop f2 is minus this bishop f2. Where's f2? Right here. Boom. Yeah, that's that's still a good move, but it's not the move that I want. So that's pretty much it. I can't think of another move that you want to suggest. Queen f6 maybe? Let's see. F no, that doesn't make sense. After this, you can't go to f6. Let's see. What is there, you know? You want to try something else? Knight e4? What are you going to do that for? Queen takes e1. I'll give you, just give me your queen, right? See what I'm saying? But that's it. I think that's pretty much all the variations. If you want to mess with the position, feel free. I'll have it in the description. But yeah, that's it for this video. Just an amazing interference tactic, something that's really easily overlooked. And personally, I did not see it on the first shot. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe. That's it for now. Thanks. Bye.